There's a lot to answer, so let's get straight to it. Forgive my voice, I've been shouting a lot lately, so it might be a bit deeper than usual. Not unhappy, just it's hard to speak right now. So my main job is actually this. YouTube, streaming, all that. It's a funny story, actually. I didn't mean for it to become a job. I actually wanted to be a writer. I've written three novels so far. If you go back to the first videos, I had an advert for my books at the end of each. Then I realized most people didn't care about the books, but they liked my reviews. And then the community gave me so much support that I was able to do this full time. So despite what some people believe about shilling, what I do is 100% community supported. So I really appreciate you all using my links and watching the videos. It's the dream career I never dreamed of having. I'm working on a lot of things behind the scenes as a show of thanks, but it's taken me forever so patience please. I figure it out, like the new mouse finder on the website. I want to get it so you can actually choose by hand size, buttons, features, things like that. You'll see. And why not go pro in Quake or something? I'm not sure many people really understand what it takes to be pro at a game or sport. It's not just your skill, it's a thousand things. And your passion and your drive are a big part of it. I love gaming and I love testing gaming mice, but for work, I'd much rather write novels, make music and videos. Be creative. I like to make things. Even if I had the talent to become pro, and I don't think I do, but I still wouldn't, because my passion isn't there. I don't care enough to try that hard in a game. I'm just having fun. I have some really big dreams I'm still chasing. My new channel is one of them. It's a great feeling when I help someone choose a good product, but the best is when someone tells me that I helped them feel a bit better that day, or gave them the motivation to change their lives in general. That's where my passion really is right now. I'm not really in tech or gaming. As much as I do love it, I want to help people that were in similar situations to what I was. So I can't wait to really dedicate myself to that channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Favorite game that's not Quake is Doom. Also the older Tomb Raiders. And I used to love Command & Conquer as well. And Street Fighter. And of course Wipeout, which was one of my favorite games of all time. Worst mouse I ever reviewed? Red Dragon M601. Also probably the cheapest, so don't judge it too harshly. It's good for what it is, but the G102 is better and isn't that much more. So save up for that. I have a posture video in the works, so I'll get to this in detail later. Next question. Yes. Perfect mouse. Something like the FK2. And speaking of, Zowie FK2. I'm in talks with a few companies about designing my own mouse, but we're not sure because of the potential bias. I mean, if it's not number one, you're going to say, oh, you failed at making a good mouse. But if I put it at number one, people will say, it's only number one because you made it. So yeah, complicated, we'll see. Started playing Quake because my friends were playing it in high school. I was playing Duke Nukem 3D Atomic instead. Fell in love with Quake once I got into Quake 2 CTF though, and that was 20 years ago now. October is my anniversary month. Same time as when I got into computers and tech. Social life, after school, it was really hard to find friends in the same times. By that I mean we always had different schedules. We just slowly drifted apart, plus I moved too. Now I have random friends here and there, but these days I'm usually too busy with work or doing my own thing like surfing, shooting around, or doing something creative. So the answer right now is I don't, but I work way more than I play games. Now that I've finished most of the main projects, I'm going to work on actually building a social app again, and once I figure out the balance, I'll upload a video about it. Okay, a few questions here. The difference between a lower actuation point isn't enough to care about, in my opinion. I haven't found a use for virtual surround. Some people swear by it. Depends on the game, maybe. I actually haven't tried open backs. I'm all about keeping things quiet and also recording vocals on songs, but I will try someday. The headphones I'm using now, I go with wireless for general use because I walk around a lot and I don't like stepping on cables. So I'm using the SteelSeries Arctis Pro on one computer, Siberia 800 on the other, along with the Razer Thrasher Ultimate on PS4 and Astro A50s on the Xbox. Also using Audio-Technica A50X and AG1X. They're my wired ones. Okay, for this advice, it's pretty much the entertainment industry. It is so hard to make it, so don't feel bad if you can't, and don't rely on it either. Just like I haven't relied on becoming a best-selling author, because there's no way I could guarantee success. There are a lot of poor, unsuccessful actors, writers, comedians, musicians, and even wannabe pro gamers. So I would say don't base your choices on the success of the few. For every successful streamer, there are probably a thousand unsuccessful ones. I've always worked other jobs while I've been chasing these dreams. I think a lot of pro gamers do the same, so I'd recommend you do too. Be safe. Have a plan B. Be smart about your future. But esports is a booming industry, with a lot of different aspects. You can be an event organizer, a commentator, someone who works with the pros, someone who talks to the public. Heaps of options. So make sure you have a positive attitude, make sure you work well with others, network as much as possible, don't make enemies out of everyone, and see how far you can take it. But it's a new industry really, so treat it as a hobby first. 
If you have the passion to be a professional gamer, along with the drive, skill, talent and the ability, and you find a stable game that could become a career, then make sure you have a life balance too. You want your brain and body functioning at the highest level possible. That means getting your diet right, exercising, thinking clearly, making sure you're practicing properly, and no matter what emotions you feel or how hard things are, you find a way around them. Don't have a defeatist mindset. If you want to be the best, you can't make excuses and quit. You have to find a way, and don't be afraid to learn from others. You should take the best from everyone you can, and then do it even better, or beat them some other way. Zionism is just Zai with ism. You can look up the definition of ism. It's like my religion, but not. I've hit plenty of slumps, to the point I use Quake to check where I'm at in life. If I can't play my best, I have to fix something. Sometimes I just needed a break, but other times I needed better foods, more sleep, less stress, better relationships, renewed goals, and better thoughts. My How To Get Good series is kind of about that, as is the Why I Defy channel. It's pretty complicated. Next question, that one. Quake is the best game. Also, I don't play all the time. That probably helps. And when I want to play some games, I can only play another game for a little while. Then I miss Quake. It's possible I need more variety in my life, but I used to play a new game every week. I've played so many. I just find it hard to care about these days. I'd rather do something creative, as I said. But if I feel like gaming, Quake is just awesome. It feels so good once you get the movement right and the weapon combinations down. And mid-air rockets, just so good. That said, without rocket jumping, I do get a bit bored. If I can rocket jump around constantly, I'm usually pretty happy. I've been focusing on mice for years, even before this channel. I love testing new mice. The only difference now is you hear about it, because I actually make videos about my thoughts. Not right now, but looking forward to playing the new Tomb Raider when I get time. Shaky aim? That's a huge topic. It could be a lot of things. From the pattern mouse, to the way you're sitting, how you're positioning your arm, your desk, your general health, heaps. There really is a lot to it. If you watch the first How Not To Review video, you'll actually notice that my hands are shaking a lot. That's because I'd got so busy making that video, I didn't eat that day until about 4 o'clock. And apparently that causes your hands to shake. So make sure you've had enough food. So there's a tip right there, make sure you've eaten. Don't play on an empty stomach, but don't get too full either. That can make you drowsy. It's all about balance. And I'll do some aim guides one day too, so stay tuned for that. IQ 201. Well the usual answer I give, it's high enough to know that it's not an accurate representation of intelligence. There are many forms and we can all serve a purpose in society somehow. I've known plenty of high IQ people who failed to use their potential, and also plenty who had low IQ but used their potential well, and high IQ people that were straight up stupid in so many aspects of life, but geniuses at others. I don't consider my IQ high or important. I do the best with what I have and that's all I care about. It's about results, you don't argue with success. Having a number doesn't really mean anything to me. I'd rather focus on living a good, modest life, rather than how smart I am according to some test. You want to test your intelligence? Go succeed in everything you do in life. Written tests won't mean much if you can't get your life right. If you just want to do them for fun, sure, go for it. But I wouldn't take them seriously. There's way more to life. I like Corsair's quality, but I think they need to work on their shapes, the weights, and the software. And lastly, how long will I be doing YouTube? Forever. Or as long as it exists. And as long as people keep on supporting me. Even if I get a ridiculous amount of money, like a billion dollars, I will always want to create something, and talk to the world. It's just in my nature. So you can't just stop in life. You always need to be moving forward. No matter how rich you get, no matter how many goals you achieve, there's always something more you should be doing. There's no end game, there's always room to improve. No matter what happens, I consider myself one of the world builders. So I'll always be making a new video, song, book, or whatever. I love helping people, helping the world, and creating. YouTube is actually the perfect platform for me. In terms of Rocket Jump Ninja, I think I'm going to focus more on mice. So even if I move more to my other channels, or my books or something like that, I'm still going to do mass reviews. As I said, I really enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Love checking out new products. So yeah, as long as you keep on showing that awesome support, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here. So I hope that helps for now. Big thanks for the support, the questions, and also watching these videos. Usual links in the description if you want to help support what I do. Subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.